Hey everyone, Johnny FRX here, back again. Today we have a cool little project uh, based on the ESP8266 and the SmartThings ST Anything device handlers and library. All these by the Dan's Ogrechuk. I say it as such because I've come to understand it's a father son team building these device handlers for SmartThings and the ESP8266, ESP32, ESP01. So, let's move on here. Today we have a temperature sensor, the DS18B20, which I am very fond of, um, this little guy here. I use these in our reptiles vivariums to uh, monitor and control the, uh, the heating and cooling for their respective tanks. We have a bearded dragon and a gecko, and both have very particular heat requirements. Today we're hooked up to one of the ESP8266 the Node MCU 0 0.9, a little bit older guy, and I like mounting these on these dev kit boards. It makes uh, configuring the jumpers a heck of a lot easier. The ST Anything device handlers, as is out of the box, are built for the standard ESP12. This guy here, um, that you can see, the breadboard friendly version. The only change that needs to be made to use this guy here is change the pin it's using from D7 to D3. Um, unplug all the jumpers if you program this and then plug them in but change it to D3 in the code you'll save yourself a lot of grief I learned that when I was configuring on the old school way with my Arduino programming so let's fire up the temperature here on this guy right now it's at 70 degrees you can see on the screen there get a lighter going underneath it here and crank up the heat and it should fire up so you can attach it to any alarms etc um, that you may have available to you via smart apps or anything else you can also change the polling frequency boy that got hot fast and you can see an alarm went off up here too that I have set um, the DS18B20 and the smart things device handle are very reliable but again that was an extreme fluctuation in heat so normal daily life is going to graduate very slowly as you'd expect any type of temperature measurement the ST anything, I can't say enough about it. I mean, these guys really have this solid. If you use that standard ESP12, this guy here, you can have this up and running in 10 minutes flat. Hey guys, I forgot to mention that Dan's Ogrechuk also removed a common headache that were presented when using the DS18B20 sensors. We don't need to scan for the device address. The code handles all of that. Nice, nice add-on there, because for some of us that manually do that and have to come back to the code and add it to it, that step is gone. It handles it all. Okay, back to your originally scheduled viewing. If you're familiar with the configuration that he's, that those guys have created, you follow the one, two, three steps, program your board, plug it in, and you're good to go. I'll put together a quick Instructables for this. Um, it's, it's pretty simple, like I said, a couple, three steps, and again... Hope you all have fun, have a great holiday, and thanks again. Bye.